connected. Good evening, everyone. Up on the mountain with the Africa Twin. Thought I'd have a set air on the, on my chair and uh, just have a little talk about a comparison between the Africa Twin and the CRF250L. I've had it long enough now. Got a few scratches you can see <laughs> where I laid it over. But uh, uh, a lot of people ask which one I think is a better bike. Well, it's kind of a tough question because they're both great bikes, of course. They're both Hondas. And you can't go wrong, in my opinion, with a Honda. But I'm going to give my honest opinion about everything. About the way I feel. and um, You know, I've uh, I put uh, about 4,500 miles on the Africa Twin now. Had 17,000 miles on the CRF 250L. And uh, I can tell you that the two bikes, the Africa Twin is, a, is a, a new world. I mean, it's not even the same thing. Yeah, I ride a boat back and forth to work. Uh, there's a lot of different pros and cons to both of them. Um, the Africa Twin, of course, more power. When you compare power between the CRF 250L and the Africa Twin, it's absolutely no comparison because the Africa Twin is tremendous more power. Um, suspension. The Africa Twin, of course, it has better suspension, mainly because of the adjustability that it has that you don't have on the 250L. It's pretty basic. Uh, you know. Uh, <clears throat> fuel mileage. I was getting about 70 miles a gallon on the CRF 250L and I'm getting about 51 on the Africa Twin. So the 250L wins in the fuel mileage. Um, comfort. Bar none, the Africa Twin is more comfortable when you're riding on, you know, longer trips especially. The seat is way better. Seating position feels real good. It's just comfortable. Wide handlebars. So, and especially two up riding, there's no comparison. Two up riding, the Africa Twin is way better. A lot better for my wife to sit on the back seat. A lot more room. There's handles to hang on to on there. Um, there's just a lot of different factors. Uh, wind, the Africa Twin with the windshield, even if it don't block all the wind, it's a, a huge difference in the cold weather like it is now. Uh, riding to work in the mornings, the uh, Africa Twin or the CRF 2 video would just about freeze you to death, you know, because so much wind. Well, the Africa Twin blocks most of that, and the biggest thing with cold is the wind. So, definitely better as far as blocking the wind off of you. Now, highway riding, no comparison. Cornering, highway, I mean, it's way better on the Africa Twin. And uh, now, you've got to consider, too, that I have the stock tires on here. I don't have big knobby tires on it, so when we're talking about back road riding, uh, the CRF 250L shined. Um, because the tires I had on it, this one here, if it had real good knobby tires, I'm sure it'd be excellent uh, on the gravel roads. But uh, if we're going to talk about off-road, like up here in the woods, hill climbing, uh, busting brush, ledge rocks, the 250L uh, just blow this thing away. Because it's so narrow, so lightweight, um, it don't have to have all the power. You don't need all that power in the woods and tight woods and stuff. The 250L had plenty. And uh, and you ain't got all the stuff to scratch up and bang up, you know. So in the woods, wood riding, trail riding, I would have to give the thumbs up by far to the CRF 250L. 
maintenance pretty much uh no difference other than you know you got uh almost five quarts oil in this where you had uh i can't remember the 250l now around two quarts so a lot more oil so it costs you more and the filter oil filter is higher the spin on filter as far as the chain no difference there it's the same kind of a adjustment uh and uh, no difference in the chain adjustment none of that so chain maintenance is the same the air filters on this you got two of them so you're going to have twice the price in replacing your air filters when you do it um you know this one like i said about the fuel mileage now this one don't get as good as fuel mileage but it does hold five gallon of gas so that makes up a lot of course costs you more uh, the 250L holds almost two gallon, right at two gallons, so, you know, don't hold near as much gas. Um, the Africa Twin does come with a lot more stuff stock than the 250L with the hand guards, which the hand guards are okay, but if I was going to ride uh, trail riding with it, they're not very good because you fall over, you're going to bust those hand guards. They're just plastic. There's no strength to them. They're just good to keep the wind off of you and little tree limbs from whacking in the hands are okay for that. But um, Headlights. The CRF 250L had great headlights. They did have great headlights. The uh, Africa Twin has amazing headlights. There's no comparison. The headlights are way better on this Africa Twin. Them LEDs, two LED headlights, and when you turn them dudes on, you can see the world. So, uh, headlights, I give the nods up to the Africa Twin, no doubt. Uh, braking, the braking is better on this, mainly because of dual disc and the ABS, which the CRF 250L don't have the ABS, so. But uh, you got to consider too with the CRF 250L, it's a lot lighter weight bike, so you're not stopping near as much weight. So it don't have to have near the brakes as the Africa Twin would. You put the brakes off a of 250L on this thing, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> you know, you're trying to stop too much weight. Um, as far as uh, easier to keep clean, this bike. The way the fender is made and the front fender and stuff, it uh, keeps the mud off the bike a lot better. It does come with a better skid plate than the CRF250L, even though this skid plate is not an awesome heavy-duty skid plate um, like the aftermarket. But it's decent. If you're going off-road, real off-road stuff with it, which I don't plan to go on extreme off-road, you would bend this one up. It's pretty light, so you'd bend it up pretty good. But just normal stuff, keeping rocks from coming off the tire and hitting your engine, it does a great job of that. Nothing wrong with that. See my skinned up spot here. Don't that suck? Yeah, man. That's the worst part. And, uh, you know, I had to give the nods up to the 250L as far as, like I say, in the brush. If you fall over with the 250L, that's another comparison is the price, you know, 250L. I paid a, a little over 4,000 and this bike here, 13,000. So you could buy, pretty much you could buy three CRF 250Ls for the price of one Africa Twin. And by the way, I will have another uh, CRF 250L, there's no, about it. no doubt about it. I did say, and I still stand by it. The CRF 250L is the best bike I've ever had. It's the most fun. I enjoy the Africa Twin. I enjoy the power. I enjoy white riding with my wife. But as far as just play riding with Blake and Kevin, going to the woods, running back and forth to work, um, the CRF 250L cannot be beat. Um, this bike's a great bike. I love it. As far as would I trade this off and get a CRF 250L? No. I'll keep the Africa Twin. For, you know, I'm, I'm 50, I'm oh, sorry, man, I'm making myself older than what I am. I'm 48 years old, getting close to 50, so I'm not a young kid no more, so uh, the luxuries are nice with the Africa Twin, but uh, 
just riding by myself all the time, back and forth to work, if I wasn't taking big trips, uh, the crf 250 l would be my choice. I really like it. I really, I really like the Africa Twin. Uh, I can't tell you one thing this thing does better, or will do better, is get you some tickets. Because this dude is fast. I mean, it's, it's a mean machine. The power is unbelievable on this thing. May not be as great as some of the, the big touring bikes. I mean, the big uh, adventure bikes. Uh, but it's got enough power to get you in trouble. Um, uh, as far as the instrument panel on this bike, I really like the instrument panel a lot better. For one thing, the turn signal indicators, you can see them a lot better than you can on the CRF250L. It does have the gear indicator the CRF250DL don't have, and I really like that to know what gear you're in because on the 250DL I was real bad about getting into six gear and I always want to, I think that I need to pull it up another gear. Well, on this one you can see what gear you're in so you don't have to worry about trying to shift up into another gear. It does tell you your fuel consumption on here, which is nice. It tells you your trip elapsed time and uh, It also tells you the temperature outside. It says it's 68 degrees, but that's because the bike's sitting here and the heat coming off the motor is warming that up, but it's not actually that warm out here. Uh, you know, it does have the uh, ABS, like I said. I don't know that that's a feature for me. It's okay, I guess. And the traction control, same way. I don't know if that's a feature that is for me. Most time when I'm off-road, I turn that off. So, uh, I just wanted to do a quick comparison between the two. Um, the CRF250DL is an awesome bike. If you got a CRF250DL, uh, I think you, if you're happy with it, stay with it because you ain't gonna get no better. The Africa Twin, like I say, is a different world. It kind of, when I bought the Africa Twin, I actually expected different. I bought the Africa Twin thinking my goodness I'll have all that power you know and I have I still go off road and which I can I can still go dirt roads but as far as this woods riding I'm not going to take this and go off down through the brush and the 250L I would so I soon realized that when you're swinging around you know 500 pounds of weight compared to the light weight of the CRF 250L it's a whole lot harder to handle this bike out here in the woods going over logs uh, rocks, anything that, uh, you know, anything that requires uh, agility, this thing ain't got compared to the 250L. So the 250L is light and nimble and uh, plenty of power. And one thing I do not can tell you, too, on the CRF 250L, when you lay it over, no big deal to pick the bike up. This bike, when you lay it over, you got a job on your hands. It's heavy. It's a whole lot harder. I'm not trying to discourage anybody from buying an Africa Twin because they're a great bike. Awesome bike. But don't expect this to, this bike when you buy it to go out and just rip the woods up like you do on a dirt bike or, or even a dual sport. Uh, there's a lot of places I wouldn't want to take this thing. R rocks and rutted and mud and I mean it's just too much. As far as riding the big forest roads and stuff that's okay. Uh, but I'll have another CRF 250L, no doubt about it. I miss the 250L. I wouldn't, like I say, I wouldn't trade back. But I do miss it. And uh, I'll get another one, probably a 2017 model CRF 250L. I don't think I want the rally because if I'm going from if I'm going from this to the rally, I'm gaining a lighter weight bike. But it still hauls all this plastic and stuff to scratch up and bang up and the windshield. I mean, if I'm going to do that, I'll stay with what I got. The 250L, they don't have all that stuff to tear up near as bad. So, I'll probably just buy a standard CRF 250L 2017 model. And uh, have the pair. And when I do that, I imagine mostly what I'll be doing is riding it back and forth to work. 
save the Africa Twin for me and my wife when we ride. Or if I go with some people on a big adventure trip, then I would take this, of course. Hauling stuff would be great on this. Not so great on the 250L. I have the pan ears for this bike, so real nice for carrying, carrying your luggage and all your clothes and gear. So, uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to do this video because I have a lot of people ask me which bike I like the best. Uh, for now, and for me and my wife, I like the Africa Twin better. For me by myself and running back for it to work if I wasn't going on going to go on no big adventure trips I like the CRF 250L better and uh, playing in the woods with the guys a lot more fun on the 250L but uh, right now I, I would rather have the Africa Twin than the CRF 250L the way the way my life is right now and the things I got going on the Africa Twin is a lot better bike for what I need. So, uh, I do appreciate y'all watching Woodsman Adventures. Please subscribe. I got a lot more Africa Twin stuff coming up. And in the future, I will have some more CRF 250L uh, videos coming up. I've got some uh, camping videos coming up in the future. And uh, maintenance videos on the Africa Twin and more on that CRF 250L. So, uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I encourage you to please subscribe. Please click the thumbs up on the video and all the videos. Um, if you're not uh, where you can subscribe, sign up for YouTube. It's, it don't cost you nothing. Sign up for a YouTube account, and then when you watch somebody's video, you can click the thumbs up. You can subscribe to their channels, and if you click the little bell on there, you'll get a notification when I make a new video. And uh, so you can just instantly watch it when I get one without having to search all the time and forgetting about it. So um, that's the perk of being uh, signed up on a YouTube, have you a YouTube account. But uh, I appreciate y'all, all the friends and the all your comments and likes and subscribes. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Wisdom Adventures.